All right, thank you, Brad. And Daryl, that is 2 p.m. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day two of the first round of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series here at Bem River. This year is in fact our 15th anniversary season and we could not think of a better place than Bem River to kick things off. Dialer, of course, remains as our naming rights sponsor for the series and we are forever grateful for their ongoing support and we look forward to continuing this partnership with Dialer for many years to come yet. The location here in Bem River is arguably regarded as the single best brim fishery on the east coast of Australia. It was absolutely evident yesterday with 117 of 123 anglers being able to weigh their bags for the day and we certainly look forward to similar numbers today. There is certainly a change of foot here at Bem River uh, with Ray and Deb about to finish up their time over at the Bem River Hotel and I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to thank them very, very sincerely for all of their... Uh, joy and fun and uh, sort of processes with us over the last 15 years or so, um, you will be sorely missed. Um, Keg and his partner that will be taking over, you guys have got some very, very big shoes to fill, so uh, we look forward to sharing some fun times ahead as the years go on. As I had noted, Daiwa is the naming rights sponsor of the series, though this weekend has a naming rights round sponsor and a newly introduced sponsor in St Croix Rods. Uh, we thank Rick Massey for his time very much over the course of the last couple of days and we look forward to the partnership as the years go forward. The sponsors are most certainly the key to the ongoing success of these events and I would like to take a moment to also thank not only Daiwa and St Croix but also Lawrence, Powerpole, Atomic, <coughs> excuse me, Hurricane Lures, TT Fishing, Pro Lure, Manic Tackle and Sims Apparel, as well as two new partnerships that we are looking forward to joining through this year with uh, Burley Pro. So Marty, we're looking forward to doing some great work with you and of course the team at Fish Tech Solutions. So I look forward to firming that up with you through the week, Trent. Uh, we certainly do continue again with the uh, team at Escape with ET and also of course the men's mental health program known as the Fly Program with Matt Trippett down in the Snowy Mountains. <laughs> Daryl, Jim and team, thank you very much for, uh, sorry not Jim, he's not here anymore is he Daz? Daryl, Brad and team uh, as part of Hobie Fishing uh, and also too thank you to the guys that have stepped in to uh, lend a hand on the bump tub this weekend and scoring. May I please have to get us underway, Mr. Luke Hines. Come on up, Luke. All right, buddy. We had two yesterday and two today, so you've kept it rather consistent. Came in at 1.28 kilos yesterday, mate. Um, maybe a little better yeah, today? Better. Yep. Yeah. Not a bad day out there overall? Yeah, it wasn't bad. All right, buddy. These two for you, sir, are... Very nice, 1.69 kilos. All right, go down there to see Brad, grab a photo. Thank you. Good on you, mate. Thanks for being with us this weekend. All right, the next angler up, I believe, is Jared Hickman. Three yesterday, mate. Have we got another three today? And also two very sunburnt feet. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a sign of a good day out. All right, buddy. 2.1 yesterday. Won't get that. Yeah, not far off, though, I don't think. No, you were right, 1.8 kilos. There you go, bud. Thank you, Chris. Thank you kindly. Hope you had a great weekend. All right, following on is room and travel partner, Glenn Morgan. What have we got today, bloke? Got a bag? Well done. How was it out there, buddy? Hot. Hot. That, um, that breeze was certainly up and down, wasn't it? Yep. All right, three yesterday at 171. Certainly a better day on the water, I'd like to think here. It is at 196. Well done, Glenn. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. All right, hope to see all of you at the basin, which is our next upcoming round. All right, so following on is Gavin Howard, please. So, Gavin, comp competing as part of our Masters division, mate, uh, there is a 19 strong field here this weekend. Your three fish yesterday came in at 194. Now, mate, when we came across you there at one point this morning, it was like, oh, this is easy, I've got this in the bag. <laughs> it was. <laughs> but I couldn't upgrade, sir. So. Ah, righty -o. the flats didn't quite work uh, out. Uh, mate, um, maybe similar to yesterday, a bit under? Uh, sort of no, better. Actually, a little better, look yeah. at me. 197, mate, well done. Thank you. Very consistent, mate. Thank you for all of those miles you've done with the boys, coming all the way over from South Australia. Now, from Victoria, Mr. Peter Bruckel. But um, obviously we get along to these events and it is a competition, but um, 
It's certainly not all about the fishing, is it, mate? Nah, not nah. by a bit. Bit of party too, eh? <laughs> hey, why not? Good all laughs. Right. Good laughs. I love it. Two one eight yesterday, mate. Maybe a little less than that today. Oh. Two oh six. It does, however, have you in the lead at four point two four kilos. <laughs> Get on your bud. Radio. Now, next up, following on from Peter, is Lindsay Pike, please. <laughs> a little bit of banter going on down here at the scoring table. We've got a, uh, a new face at the table. Now, Lindsay, one for 2 yesterday. Yep. Hope this one's a little bit better. All right, let's have a look. Maybe one sixes or sevens. As long as it's better than one five. Oh. Oh, it was way up, mate. 202. I'll take that. Very nice. <laughs> All right, buddy. Good work. Thanks, Lindsay. All right. So, Peter Bruegel leading the way with Darren Haywood following Dean Gavin Howard. Next up, Peter Nord. Coming up, sir. Now, buddy, um, 198 yesterday. Is today an improvement or no? Maybe about the same, he says. I don't know. Now, um, are you on this journey of like seven straight days of fishing? Yes, You've got definitely. some tournaments to do with uh, ABT following on from this? Yep, two ABTs and then over to Tassie for four tournaments. Mate, looking forward to that. That should be good. All right, mate. 198 yesterday. Can we better it? No. Nah. Not quite. 188 has you in fifth place overall at for, present. For a minute. <laughs> yeah, not for long, mate. That line is enormous out there. Rightio, following on is Dennis Villamore. Come on up, Dennis. Now, mate, very, very respectable bag there yesterday at 2.28 kilos. It looks like you've got another three for us today. Yes. Better. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> mate, well done. Uh, very, very consistent angling. You need 2.02 kilos to take the lead, mate. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Oh, very handy, mate. Smack on 2.5. Our current leader is Dennis Villamore. Well done, Dennis. Thank you, sir. Good on you, buddy. Nice work. All right, Cameron Cole, all the way from Tassie. Mate, um, I do hope that you've enjoyed your time up here. Yeah, it's been good. Mate, um, getting uh, a little bit of practice in at home ahead of these Tassie rounds? I've done hardly any fishing at all. Is that right? Yeah, yeah this is the first brim fishing I've done in months. And a lot of trout otherwise? Yeah, a bit of trout. Yep. Uh, all right, three fish yesterday at 174. These three at 181, that is certainly an improvement, mate. And uh, very, very much looking forward to sharing uh, some water with you down in Tassie. Sounds good. All right, Cam, thanks very much, mate. Radio, I believe I have Rick King. Come on up, sir. Mate, three yesterday at 215. Do we or do we not have an improvement? I would say by that walk, maybe not. It's just short. Just short of it. Fill the bag, sir. So. Yep. Mate, three and three. That's what we want to do. There's some um, really, really important AOY points here this weekend. So uh, let's see what we can do to improve yesterday. Not quite. We're going to be at 179. You are, however, at the moment in fourth place. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks buddy. for the weekend. My absolute pleasure, mate. We can't do it without you guys. If you don't turn up, there is no event. Richard Benson, please. Come on up, bud. Yep. Mate, three yesterday at 237. Mate, uh, there were an awful lot of anglers yesterday sort of floating around that sort of 2-2 two, two to 2-5 two, mark. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it was Maybe a... Uh, get two, but I doubt it. There's two in there. Yeah. There's got to be. Maybe. Or one eight. Yeah. one eight two. Enough. Mate, you're in third at the minute. Let's see where you end up after the next hundred odd guys come through. No <laughs> Good on you, Venno. Great to have you here, champ. Alright, not too sure which side we're going, but we are. George, come on up, champion. How good's your form? Three and three. Hey? We've been talking about this for a while, haven't we? <laughs> Mate, did you enjoy your day on the water? I did. Yeah. It was good. So to get a bit of time and space to yourself, or you catch up with a couple of folks? Yeah, no, time and space. Was yep. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to uh, just get out and poke around. Alright, one eight yesterday. 179 today. <laughs> mate, you're currently in 10th. And, uh, mate, thanks for being with us. Thank you really appreciate much. it, George. Thanks Good on you, champ. Rightio, I believe it might be Harley. We're getting there. Coming up, bud. Three yesterday at 176. 
the other two today eluded you. They did. Yeah. It's a fun. A second one, but it was only it was pushing the boundary for 29. So. And at that point, you go right. If I get a bit of strength back, yeah. we'll just uh, let him be. All right, that one for you, mate, is 460 grams. Yeah, mate, really appreciate you being with us here this weekend. Oh, good. Hope to see you at some more events. Yep. Good on you, mate. Thank you. All right, no introduction needed for this bloke, James Kilpatrick. Now, Jimmy, uh, three at 177. Is it another three, my friend? It is, but no, a little bit lighter, I think. A little bit lighter on? Yeah. Mate, um, did you have the numbers, but just not the size? Heaps today. Heaps, yeah, right. Yeah. I certainly heard that from a few anglers, yeah. and it was kind of all over the system. Yeah, it was good. Good to get uh, three both days. So. Mate, it is the aim for all of us, and I yeah. certainly know that I've fallen short on more than one occasion. Yeah, I think it's the first time in 12 months. I don't think I weighed a full limit of six the whole tournament last year. We will have a look, and we will let you know, and I'm yeah. sure Brad will post oh, it up know, right on the Hobie Fishing I page. I did. <laughs> you got to be careful what you say? No worries. Thanks a lot for a great event. Mate, we love doing it for you guys. Really appreciate you being here. By far, our number one dealer in the state of New South Wales is James Kilpatrick there at Hunter Water Sports. Ben Johnson, please. Come on through, sir. Now, Ben, 1.7 kilos yesterday. I think we're going to have a hard time getting there today. I would have went close. <laughs> the one that got away? No, I had him, but he was dead in the well. Uh, uh, yeah, so... Mate, some of these warmer days, and I know that we do cycle and cycle and cycle that water, yep. um, but there are certainly some stresses that do come about. We do do our best. Two, Daryl. Yeah. No, he was best fish of the weekend, 40 Sorry, seconds. let me just, we're going to go back through this. Yep. You right to go? Thanks, Daz. At 790 grams, sir. Well, Ben, I really do appreciate you being here, mate. Cheers. Hope Cheers. to see you at the basin. Maybe. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Rightio, next up is Tom McLean. Now, I believe that I can see three there, Tom. Yep, it's a nod. Yeah, three, one nice one. Yeah, two, one, two yesterday. You need two, six, two to take the lead. What are you in, two, four, two, three? Oh, I don't know, mate, I'm a little bit out I'll of this. I'll take today. that. Let's have a look. I thought it was a bit better than that. Two one one. Currently in third with four point two three overall. Hang on. Good on you, bud. Thanks, Tom. All right. I believe following Tom McLean is a Brett Crow. Three in there again, Crowy. Yep. Super consistent. Two oh seven yesterday. An improvement or not quite? Uh, not quite. Not quite. One and a half maybe. Yeah, I think you might be on the number. All right, Daz. We're good to go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Man can call it. Right on, Chloe. Hope you've had a great weekend, bud. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. That absolute pleasure, mate. And it should be good to see you at the basin. No, he's got he's got other engagements. The basin is that bad? I'm going to run 100 k's down to South Canberra. He's going to do a 100k marathon instead. There you go. Good times. <laughs> I reckon that'll make one of one of our field here today. Wow. Well, yeah. Paul Dunlop. <laughs> 174 yesterday, certainly an improvement today, mate. A little bit. Let's have a look. 199, buddy. He puts Very you good. in tenth at the minute. Mate, Thanks, safe Chris. travels on your way home. Good on you, mate. Look Thank after you. Jimmy on the way. No All right, Mr. Jason Reed. Jason three yesterday. Is it another three today, sir? Another three today, another about three. the same. Mate, we, we don't get to see you as often as we'd like. You come back in and Jimmy just says, I didn't catch six from six at any event last year. You roll back in just like that. Yeah. Okay. You've been doing no, a bit of fishing at home? No, I haven't. No? I haven't done much at all. Probably those breaks, you know, tend to bring anglers back, back really, really fresh. 2.03. Better than I expected. Well done, bud. Thank you very much for all nice work. Cheers. Great to have you. Cheers. Rightio, following on from Jace is Tim Golby, please. Come on up, Tim. Also one of our Masters Division anglers. Mate, yesterday you had three fish at 1.76 kilos. Was it a, an equivalent day? No, they two decent fish, but couldn't get a third size fish. Plenty of fish, but... Yep. No, it's, uh, as I said to one of the guys there earlier, all over the lake, same story. All right, let's have a look at these two, Tim. Still very handy, mate. One, five, six has you in 20th at the minute. Thank you. Good on you, bud. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're ripping through it. We have Benny Harrison, please. 
Now, Benny, a little birdie told me something that um, I wasn't aware of, and I'm almost apologetic that I wasn't aware of it sooner. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to give Joel to give you a little private rendition <laughs> of happy birthday. Well, happy birthday, bud. Thanks, mate. Mate, um, of all things to do, you wanted to come another 12 or 1300 k's and spend your weekend and your birthday yeah, here with us. Why not? How good are you? <laughs> mate, 153 yesterday, an improvement most certainly. There you go, mate. 2.04 pushes you all the way up into 15th. Nice. Let's see how long we can keep you in that sort of top 20 for some really good AOY points. No worries. Well done, Benny. Thanks, Mate, a happy birthday to you. Now, Joel Crosby, if you are around, you make sure that you go and do a private rendition of happy birthday for Mr. Harrison. Mr. Dubois. Mr. Pernell. How are you, my friend? Good, thanks, buddy. Three again, maybe a little bit better than yesterday. 173 was yesterday. Might be a little bit better. I Maybe. think it's very similar. No. Well, that's it. You know I'll what's going it. on. 204 pushes you up into 11th overall. And at the end of this, mate, we'll see what happens as part Good of the Masters. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carl. Cheers, Cheers bud. Uh, All right. Following on from Carl is Dale Baxter, also known as Two Sticks. <laughs> I had to get that in. I tell you what, Daryl was going to thump me if I didn't. Yeah, he'll keep. He'll keep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we keep saying it, mate. You do not need enemies when you've got mates like us. Absolutely. Mate, one nine yesterday. Today. Very similar. One seven nine. Pushes you up into 13th overall so far, bud. Thanks, mate. All right. Hope you had a great weekend. All right. Moving right along. Wayne, coming up, bud. Now, what did we have yesterday? It looks like maybe 143 for the three. A little better? Sorry? But 143 yep. yesterday, definitely an improvement. Definitely. Change things up? Change location? Change location. Yeah, okay. Same style, different location, Pretty better much. fish. For Wayne, those three are very handy, mate. 2.33, well done. Pushes you up into 12th at the minute. Sounds good. All right, let's see how we go with those AOY points, mate. Um, they will make a big difference this year with the change of format for the number of qualified anglers that we would otherwise have for each round. And we're going to almost make a little shift that will see a 50-50 ratio between pre-qualified anglers and then AOY points. Bob, come on up, sir. And we are going to get this right. We're going to say lie belt. Lee belt. Ah. I had a 50-50 chance, mate, and I still bugger it up. All right, three yesterday, but one today. Yeah, I had a 29, and I didn't want to risk it with the Waymaster, and lost me three biggest ones, so it's a oh. frustrating day for me. Mate, so um, once. it is the sport that we keep coming back to for these sorts of challenges, mate. I have no doubt that you will improve, and uh, any chance we can see it at the basin? No, I won't be able to get to that one. No? Hopefully we can see it some other rounds through the year. Yes. Radio. Danny, hook in my finger, Jobson. Mate, um, Brad's pretty smooth at that, isn't he? He's very good. He's, hey? I think he's had a lot of practice. I think today. he's had an awful lot of practice. <laughs> the only thing is that I think he kind of enjoys it too. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he heard that. Um, two kilos net yesterday, Danny. Smaller today. You are correct. It will be a little wider on uh, 171, buddy. Um, 14th currently, mate. What a field here of 123. Let's see where you land. Thank you. Good on you, bud. Thank you. All right, Josh. Uh, coming up, bud. Uh, sorry. Just have a look at that because I think you're going to find you're going to do. So it's Josh Richards instead of Jason. So. Sorry, mate. I just sort of looked at that. Went, oh, hang on a minute. We better not give that to anybody else. No, uh, definitely. There you go. Perfect. Right, two one eight yesterday. Fairly similar. Exact same pre All right, here we go. <laughs> two one seven. Yeah. All right, mate. That currently moves you up into second place. All right, let's see how we go. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of anglers to weigh yet. The next angler. So I'm not sure which side of the tub we're headed there, boys. Nathan, coming up, champion. One fish yesterday, mate. Three today. 
a marked improvement. Um, change of location or what What improved so much? Yeah, change of location or yep. lures. Yep. yep. So. And lures as well. Yep. Off the top? Oh, yeah, all surface. Yep, yep. there you go. Great fishery for it here at BEM. Mate, these three for you today are very handy. 1.82 kilos, buddy. Sweet. Well done, mate. Thank you. Good work. <laughs> Rightio. It looks like we have a Mr. Jack Ganny. Now, Jacko, have you ever taken out our Monster Mover Award? That's the one award I haven't won yet. All right, because you were pretty rubbish yesterday. I was hopeless. <laughs> but I did the same thing I did again today, and, yep. and it's paid off. So. This is completely different. Yeah. My goodness, this is a good bag. Yeah. All right. Will Jack Emmy be our Monster Mover? With... Climb, climb. Go on. 2.99 kilos. I'll put one on the scales. You can most definitely put one on the scales. You have one fish out of those three that you are able to select and weigh. And I believe that you are chasing one, two, eight. Oh, my goodness, he's a nice fish. I know what's coming too, so. Oh, right. Another monster. Right, yeah. Well, let's see if we can get your name in lights for just a moment. Very, very handy, mate. A 115. That is a stunning fish. Go down there and grab some photos with Brad, mate. Well deserved. Good on you, Jack. All right. So, Rich Patterson, that 1.28 big brim still stands. Can we have Mitch Madison, please? Mate, 175 yesterday. You, uh, I only saw you the once today. That is a really stunning pink live well you've got cracking there at the moment, mate. Yeah, no, Gummy did a good job on it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a proper stitch up? Proper stitch up. Yeah. Usually these jokes aren't funny, so it was good to get one of them. <laughs> All right, 175 yesterday, Matto. Certainly an improvement there, I believe. A very handy, mate. Two, two, seven. Pushes you up into sixth. Let's see how long we can keep you up there, bud. Thank you. Good on you, buddy. Thank you. Rightio, ladies and gentlemen, the man with the smile, I believe, who was our day one leader, was Jason Marshall. Mate, yesterday, and I think we are going to go back to the record books and take a look, but I think the 3.34 kilos that you weighed yesterday may very well be this best single day bag at BEM in our history. Well, that'll do me for the weekend. That will do you for the weekend. <laughs> Call it a one day comp instead. Yeah. There you go. All right, mate, you need 1.4 kilos to retain the lead, or regain the lead, I should say. Yep. Let's have a look and see what sort of target the rest of these anglers are going to be chasing. 2.17 kilos today, mate. That is the first angler to exceed 5.5 kilos. Let's see how long we can keep you at the pointy end of the tree. Yep, no worries, thank you. All right, good on you, mate. Well done. All the way from Tamworth. Well done, Jace. Rightio, Tony, Tony, Tony Petty. Come on up, sir. Mate, very handy yesterday with 2.52 kilos. Yes. You need a neat three kilos. We're going about uh, 700 short. About 700 short. So you reckon you're at 2.3? Somewhere around there. Okay. I reckon you're going to be pretty bloody close, Tom. It might be a little more. I hope it is. I hope so. And it was, just a little more. 2.34. Put you into second place, mate, at a total weight of 4.86. Right, thank you. Good James. Great weekend. Thanks, bud. Rightio, ripping through them as best we can is uh, now Ian Canal. Mate, um, three yesterday at 173. Whatever it is that you decided to do, was it the same as yesterday? Or were you trying to change something up? Uh, too many different things. Yeah. It can get a bit busy in your head out there, can't you? Yep. Started to panic at about 11 o'clock. That's when I got in. And that's the one that came in? All right, mate. One is so much better than none. A neat 500 grams. Easy. All right, buddy. Hope you've had a great weekend. Really appreciate you being here. All right. Following on from Ian is Bradley Burnett. Coming up, champion. Two yesterday at 138. Great to see you with a full limit. Well done, sir. Thank you. Now, that rod that um, was kind of floating around there this morning, did it do some damage? Was it handy to have back in the quiver? Uh, it was, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Good yeah. work, mate. Got the big one, so... All right, three for Brad. Those three are... Oh, 1.99 kilos, mate. Put you up into 27th. Mate, I hope you had a great weekend with us, and we look forward to seeing you at a few more events. Thank you. Good on you, buddy. Thank you. All right, who have we, please, Mr Andrew Smith? Sorry, Brendan Smith, excuse me. Mate, uh, 216 yesterday. What have we today? 
a little lighter, I think. Yeah, I think you might be right, bud. Um, did you sort of move much from where we saw you first thing? No, just stayed on the flats? Stayed on the flats. Just grounded away? Yeah. All right. 216 yesterday. 191 today. Mate, put you up inside the top 10 currently in eighth place. Thanks, Good on you, mate. Thank you so much. All right, so it's uh, a lot of that second fleet of anglers are now just making their way back in. They had a 2.30 finish, and I think we've probably got four or five to go. May I please see Gary Slykerman? Good on you, Cass. <laughs> Mate, three yesterday at 161. Another three for you today, sir. I can tell you I'm pretty consistent. Well, maybe similar type of fish? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Oh, about seven, 70 grams more, I think. Okay. So. It's, um, it can be a bit tricky sometimes when you do those sort of on water weights. It just doesn't always quite level up. But, we'll um, take the bigger one, how's that? Okay, there you go. You have a chat to Daz. Oh, you are exactly spot on same. at 1.61 kilos, mate. All right, buddy, I hope you've enjoyed your weekend. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Thanks, guys. Rightio, who have we next? Jacob. Mate. Very handy yesterday at 1.98 kilos. I think we've got two rather than the three. Slightly tougher day at the office. Uh, yeah, just wrong spots, wrong times. Mate, um, I guess each and every time you come to one of these fisheries, you get to learn something, you'll take it away and improve next time. These two, sir, are 1.43 kilos. All right, bud, hope you've had a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks for being with us, buddy. Thank you. Rightio, I think we may have Daniel Rappold next. Come on up, Dan. All right, 2.04 yesterday, sir. Maybe a little lighter? Yeah, a little bit smaller than okay. yesterday. Mate, you had a good day out there, though. Yeah, it was good. Yep. Yep. Mate, the weather has certainly blessed us this weekend, That's that is for sure. Weekend. Very, very lucky. I think last year here it absolutely was soaking on the Saturday, yep. but then it turned out to be a great Sunday. Very handy mate, 1.84 kilos, pushes you up inside the 15 in 14th place at present. Thank you. Good on you Daniel, thank you buddy. Rightio. Mr David Hedge, come on up buddy. Now mate, uh, 181 yesterday and maybe not quite the day that you had yesterday. Oh, it's pretty much the same. They're going to be close. They're going to be close, he yeah. says. Rightio. Yeah. Mate, good, so, they've just never found any big ones. Just yeah. a really good day, lots of fish. Those kicker fish really do make all the difference when you're so similar yeah. through yeah. the weights. You just need that one to kind of stamp your authority on the day. 178, mate, like you said, very, very close. Currently 23rd, Hedgy. Thanks for being here Thank once you. again. Good on you, Dave. All right, so I believe we missed seeing this gentleman yesterday, but I'm glad he's with us today, Mr. Rob Chambers. Uh, Mate, one is better than none. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Mate, um, I said, we uh, certainly got to see a lot of you some years ago. We sort of had a little bit of a break, and it's really great to see you again, mate. Yeah, yeah good to be back, uh, particularly at, at them, but uh, any comp, uh, yeah. always good. Well, mate, hopefully we get a chance to see you at the Basin as well, buddy. Oh, that'll be my aim. There you go, 650 grams. Thanks, Thank Chris. you, Rob. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. All right, so the anglers will head down and uh, jumping off to the release area there. I'll get to see Brad and get some nice photos. Another angler that is sure to get some good photos is Jono Lawrence. Hello, champion. No, good, thanks. Got three again. Mate, right answer. Yeah. Um, you didn't spend as much time where you were yesterday, today? No, I went right. deep and didn't find much, but... Uh, yep. Thought I'd go for the, some big ones in the deep, but yeah. They weren't quite there, he says. No. Mate, but these three are going to come through at 158, giving you a combined total of 338 and 31st at the minute. Nice, thanks, mate. Good morning, mate. Thanks, John. All right, Mr. Andrew Deeth. Oh, Deethy, what have we got? 249 yesterday. You were right in that mix. There was a lot of anglers around that way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, so what you're telling me is you may not get to interview yourself this year? It's unlikely. Unlikely. Yeah. Alright, Deethy, 249 yesterday. Today you have 14, sorry, 150. But it does have you in 10th. Let's see how long we can keep you up there. Thank you. Sorry, mate. Thank you so much. Cheers. Alright, cycling through these anglers. May we please see next Mr Warren Allen. There was uh, 184 yesterday and um, at least the same, maybe if not a little bit better as I can see those in the bag. 
How was the day, bud? Yeah, it was good. Yep. Same, same? Rinse and repeat? Yeah, I've got plenty of fish. Yep. All about the same size. I reckon yep. it's the same bag as yesterday. <laughs> Mate, oh, I've got a funny feeling that you're going to be awfully close. Are you going to be in the sevens or eights? In the eights. 183, 184 yesterday. Well done, Moz. 23rd at the minute, bud. Thank you. All right. Thanks for being with us, champion. Ta. Uh, sorry, Mark. Come on through, bud. Two yesterday at 990 grams. Another two today, sir. You're going to be about the same weight. And about the same weight. There's uh, a few anglers that have called that, bud. Yeah. Circle um, through the low ones. Any chance for the third? No. Nah, just didn't see him? No. Nah. Rightio. Mark Knight, two fish. A little lighter on, 930 grams, bud. All right, see you. All right, mates. I hope so, buddy. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, so the next event will be St George's Basin. It'll be a, a home fishery as such for the team at Hobie Fishing. Andrew Shorty Hancocks. Come on up, champion. Mate, uh, 178 yesterday. Did you have a better day? Yep. More fish and better weight? Yeah, much better way. Yeah, good on you, bud. But went for a paddle yesterday, so... You sort of figured out where you didn't need to be? Yep. <laughs> didn't go back. No. All right, Shorty, 178 yesterday. Today we have a much better result, mate. That's what we know of you. 2.19 pushes you up into 12th place. All right, thanks, Shorty. Ta. Rightio, the next angler is... Mick, come on up, buddy. But two yesterday at 910 grams, an improvement today. Yep, got my three. Um, much like Shorty said, I mean, you do get, normally we would have a pre-fish, right? But it just blew and blew and blew. So yesterday for a lot of anglers, maybe like yourself, that might have spent a lot of time here, you sort of got to find out what's going on to then make it happen today. Yep. Well done, Mick. Great to see you with your three. 1.65 kilos, buddy. Thank nice you. work. And um, mate, we have to see you at a few more events. Yep. Good on you. Thanks, Mick. Right, which side of the tub are we going? We're going with Andrew? Come on up, Andrew. Mate, uh, one yesterday for 440 grams. We uh, cracked a pattern, we figured it out, and we have three today. A lot better day today. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how much easier a smile comes out when you've got three in your bag? <laughs> Definitely. All right, nice work, mate. This is a good bag. There you go, 2.05 kilos. In 50th at present, mate. We'll see where we land. Thank you very much, Good on you, bud. Thanks again for being with us. Righty-o. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to see our day one second place sitter, Mr. Richard Patterson. Now, Pato, 313 yesterday was just a cracking day on the water. We did come across you at one point today, and you just looked like you were having a damn good time. Yeah, it was good fun. <laughs> Lost a few, and yeah, it was yep. good. Put a few in the well. Mate, um... You need two, three, nine to take the lead. You have that in spades. Should do that. You've got this covered. Radio, Pato, your three fish today are. Nice, mate. Two, seven, four. Very, very that. consistent. Mate, that obviously puts you up into first place. You've got 5.87 overall. And at the minute, you ha also have big brim. It's a good weekend. All right. Still a few big bags to come though. Well, yeah, so. let's see, buddy. Let's see. All right, mate. Let's uh, hope that we can keep you up there. It would be uh, a very, very handy result for you. David Krebert, please. Coming up, bud. All right, mate. Uh, 198. And I tell you what, there's a bloody daunting number there that says 3.9 kilos to take play. I know. It's huge, isn't it? <laughs> mate, um, look, Bem is known for it. And this is why we keep coming back. Yep. So, um, mate, this is a very, very handy bag, and I'd like to think it's a much better bag for you than yesterday, although yesterday was still very handy at 198. 2.1 kilos, mate, well done. Currently has you in ninth place. Excellent. Cheers. Good work, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. Really appreciate you being here. All right, so I think we are next up with Mr. Ben Shuey. Now, buddy, um, you uh, snuck in mid-shift, and uh, we had a really, really quick chat, and I... Um, I did, yes. I, uh, I might have said something to you that um, sort of sounded like something to say, is that you squealing at there? Yeah, that was me. Was was it? Piping it up a bit. You know? Yeah, it was a happy one. Yeah. Mate, um, you and Pato kind of looked like you were kind of bouncing off each other, probably similar to what you did yesterday. Yeah, um, yep. Great work. You need 368 to take the lead, which is a massive number. I'll no, tell you what, you set, you set the bar, uh, bar high. 233, but more importantly, mate, you're inside the no, tent at the moment. Thank you're you. in fifth. Great work, bud. Thanks, mate. Well done. All right. Go and get some nice photos there with Brad. 
Five eight seven. That's a big number. Rightio, Nathan Wittering. Oh, sorry, Darren Weeder. Sorry, I was just moving through the screen. I didn't even look. Daz, I'm sorry. All right, mate. Thanks, Chris. Daz normally doesn't uh, give me a bum steer, but I think I bloody gave myself one. Then I'm sorry, mate. All mate, good. Um, good weekend overall. Yeah, a bit yep. disappointed with yesterday's effort, but. Um, You're going to turn that around. Um, I had a good day today. Yeah. All right. Good on you, Darren. Radio up over the two at 2.19 kilos, a massive shift in places. You're up inside the top 40 and 36th. Thank well done, buddy. Cheers. Radio from South Australia, Mr. Ben Gibbs. Mate, 1.6 yesterday, and I would. From what I know of you, mate, you were going out to stamp some authority on this place today. You were yeah. not going to leave with 1.6s. I'm a day two specialist, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mate, so great group of guys that you're travelling with. Really, really appreciate all the effort and energy that you do. Can't wait. Hopefully, at some stage, to get across and do one of your events with Brim Master SA himself. Yeah, be good. Yep. Um, fingers crossed that might even be able to happen this year. Uh, thank you. All right, Gibbsy. 2-2-1. Well done, champion. No worries. Put you, you up into 22nd place. And these AOY points, as you, you know, mm. super important. Well done, Gibbsy. Buddy oh, I think we might have Mr. Peter Cook. Now, Cookie, 3-3, three and three, ever consistent. You had 185 yesterday, mate. Is it a similar kind of bag? A little bit better. A little bit better, he says. Yeah. Mate, some didn't really change anything. Uh, fish different spots. Yep. Caught heaps more fish today. So. Yeah, righty, eh? Yeah. Um, deep? Shallow. Shallow. Yeah. There you go. All right, Cookie, let's see if we can get you up over that 185. We certainly can at 194 in 23rd at the minute, mates. All right, hope you've got a cracker. Good on you, Cookie. Cheers. righty -o. I think we are on which side of the tub? Noah, come on up, buddy. Now, Noah is competing as part of our youth division. There are two anglers here this weekend that are part of this division. And, uh, mate, it's great to see the, uh, the young guys coming through. And uh, I think uh, you taught Dad everything he knows, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. There you go. Right answer, buddy. All right, 179 yesterday, mate. Three again today. They are coming through for you at... One, four, four. Combined total weight there of three, two, three, mate. Keep that number in your mind and we'll see uh, where we land and see if we don't see you on stage for some prizes. Thank you. Good on you, Noah. Thanks, bud. Rightio. Coming up, Mr. Brad Clark. Now, three yesterday, mate. Three again today. I think yesterday, were you around sixth? Yeah. Yep. yep. Smack on. Yep. Not as good today, but... Okay, yeah. still very respectable. It's okay. Mate, 3.28 kilos is a big number to try and take the lead. Most importantly, we want to stay inside that top 10. These three are going to give you a very handy weight, 208. Fifth at the minute. That's an improvement. Thanks, we'll mate. We'll see, uh, see how long we can keep you up there, my friend. Good on you, Brad. You. Cheers, mate. Rightio, Mr. Jason Deenan. Certainly an improvement, my friends. Two yesterday, three today. Yeah, yesterday was a write-off. <laughs> <laughs> today was better. I just yeah. went out there and had fun today. Mate, um, the mindset has so much to do with fishing, doesn't it? Oh, it does. I didn't change anything, really. I fished the same lures, the same spots, and caught fish. So. We just relaxed. Yeah. All right, 1.75 kilos has you in 53rd overall, buddy. Thank Good on, Jase. Thanks, mate. Rightio. Next up, Grant Oliver, please. All right, buddy, three at 1.9 kilos yesterday. Yep. Are you going to have that Madison bloke covered this weekend, bloke? Mate, what did he get? Oh, He's... I don't know. He might not even be in the top 30-odd that I can see there at the moment. Yeah, right. Uh, um, you had 1.9 yesterday. Yeah, I might have the same today. I think you're awfully close, mate. Yeah, yeah awfully close. 1.92. You man. are in 23rd, and that may actually push you up ahead of him because I can't see him on that list. Oh, how good is that? Go and rip into him, mate. <laughs> A little bit of friendly banter never goes astray. Wayne Settling, come on up, mate. Mate, two yesterday, and from what I'm told by our scoring team, another two today. True. The numbers don't lie, do they? <laughs> But um, are we likely to see you back at a few more events just as a whole, or just yeah. pick, pick and choose as you go, of course? Uh, yeah, oh, well, I sort of try and do the Vic ones if I yep. can. Yeah, um, no, awesome. Yeah, have, have trouble getting away, travel mate, too far. But It's not easy, I certainly <laughs> understand, but any chance that you have to be with us, mate, I really appreciate the effort. Nah, no worries. 1.37 kilos, only about 30 grams different to yesterday, mate. Awesome, Good on you, Wayne. Good to see you again, bud.
All right, following on from Wayne is Mr. Alan Lister. Now, Al, it's a uh, number three, which is right. You had 198 yesterday. Um, kind of a rinse and repeat sort of day, or were you trying to chase the bigger ones? Oh, I was looking for bigger ones, but I didn't find them. I think there's probably 1.8 in there, maybe. And you know, Yeah, I think you're probably near the money, mate. Just do what you can do. That's it. And it was a pretty nice day out there, though. Mate, your scales are working pretty good out there. 1.85 kilos, buddy. Thanks, Thanks for being with us. And Cheers, um, are you doing the ABT roll as well? I am, yes. All right, good for you, mate. Enjoy it. Best of luck. John Corey, sir. Come on up. Mate, 163 yesterday and... Same again, maybe a touch more. Same, same? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mate, bit, um, bit of a grind out there. Yeah, but still, beautiful weather. Mate, what a spot. Hey? How lucky are we? Absolutely fantastic spot. Good mate, fishing. Good weather, good fishing, good friends. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. All right, John, those three for you are... There we go. An improvement at 1.69, 48 at the present. Mate. Thank you, and a big thanks to Hunter Water Sports for everything. Mate, they are great and people. All of you people. Really do appreciate it, John. Rightio, which side of the tub? We're going to go with Sean, please. Come on up, mate. Sean, mate, oh, I can see you had 154 yesterday. You've got three in the bag, so that's a great start. How, um, how did you find the day, bud? Yeah, it was pretty um, difficult to get anything decent, but yep. lots, lots of little fish out there. Yeah, okay. So the system's healthy in the little ones. They're going to grow into big ones. Are we going to come back and do this all over again? Uh, hopefully. There you go. <laughs> all right, mate. Uh, very similar to yesterday. One, five, six. 20 grams. 20 grams. There you go. It's an improvement. Good on you, bud. Great to have you with us. Thank you. All right. Mr. Blake Partington. Come on up, sir. One, five, six, and uh, an improvement? Hopefully. Yep. I think so. Yeah. So there we go. But did you change much, or you just... just changed my location. Yep. Lures are pretty much the same. Yeah, okay. Um, just had to grind through small fish Mate, to get to the better ones. Never stop casting. Yeah, a little bit of One, six, like six. Mate, um, good work, and I look forward to seeing you time and time again this season. Bear the basin. And whatever happens after, you know, yeah. let's do that again. Absolutely. Hey, had a cracking night. Thanks, a little bit of karaoke for the team, or near there too, led by none other than Joel Crosby. Tyler Bruce, coming up, sir. Great result yesterday, Tyler, kicking off your tournament with 2.65 kilos. You do have another three today. Yeah, not as big, though. No, not as big. Mate, um, very, very consistent, sir. Nice work. Let's see where we land. One, seven, one. Mate, big move there. You are inside the top ten at the moment in seventh place. Thank you. Good on you, Tyler. Thanks, champion. All right, next up. <laughs> Come on up, John, please. Mr. John Delamar. But, um, we did catch you in the latter part of the day for us out there. Looked like you were having a pretty handy time, but it looks like you're also probably working with a little bit of uh, mixed species out there. Oh, yeah. Taylor, Taylor, and more Taylor? Yeah, yeah, and a few bits and pieces. Yeah, you got a couple of salmon roll through as well? Yeah. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Mate, um, three today, marked improvements. 1.26 kilos. John? All right, bud, go and grab some photos with uh, Brad down there. Good on you. Thank you, mate. All right, following on from John is Glenn Allen, I believe. Now, Glenn, 209 yesterday, buddy. Did we uh, fix that up a little bit? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully. Yeah, good for you, mate. Mate, um, 379 to take the lead from Richard Patterson. That is a, a number that we are unlikely to see from anybody here today. But, um, mate, very respectable. Let's hope we've got some improvement. Yes, we certainly do. 2.22. Lena, that pushes you inside the 10. You are currently in ninth place. All right, thank Good you, Chris. You, and thanks, Hard on Water Sports. And of course. Everyone. Thanks, Mano. Good on you. Hey, plenty of shout-outs there for Jimmy. A very, very good business is Hunter Water Sports. Mr. David Shanahan, please. Now, Dave, um, that 266 yesterday might have had you somewhere around fifth? Fourth. Fourth. Um, 
not quite as not good. Quite, no, but not quite, but... A long way, not as good. Mate, trying to chase Pato down, though, at 3.22 kilos to chase him. This, however, sir, I have a feeling is definitely going to put you up, hopefully inside the top three, if we can get that move. 2.15... You're fourth. still smack there in fourth, mate. Well done. Hope you had a great Chris, weekend, and uh, let's see where we land. I can't see you on stage shortly. Good. Good on see you. Up. Thank you, sir. Rightio. So a quick wrap up. At five eight seven is Richard Patterson. Five five one is Jason Marshall. Tony Petty, sir, you round out our top three at four point eight six kilos. Pete, come on through, sir. Coming up, Peter. Now one point eight seven for you yesterday, mate. You've got your three again today. Much change about your day, or you just kind of rinse and repeat? Did you do it all over again? Yeah, pretty much the exact same as yesterday. Yep. Same weight, probably. Mate, I think you're going to be very close. You yeah. might just scrape into the eights. You could be in the one sevens. One six seven, in fact. Mate, uh, a good move in the placings, and it has you in 42nd at the minute. Thank you. Good on you, mate. Big, big field. In fact, a record field here this weekend at BEM of 123 anglers. Terry Grimer. Come on up, sir. Mate, um, great to see you with your three, Tess. Now, um, what does the season look like for you this year? Are you likely to get to a handful of events? Chris, I am, actually. I'm um, going to miss the St George's Basin round because I'm going to head down to Tassie. Yeah, awesome. So, awesome. yeah, I'm looking forward to um, doing that event. Have uh, you been to Tassie before? Yeah, oh no, not doing the brim rounds, no. No? No. You've got something else on? Um, yeah, 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 so, yeah, and I'll be missing out on the Gold Coast, but hopefully the rest of them will. Mate, we absolutely love having you at these events, Tez. 1.89 kilos for you today, sir. To the next event, we will see you there. No worries, thank Thanks, you, Chris. Tess. Good on you, buddy. Cheers. Rightio, following on from Terry Grimer. Okay, yep, here we go. Alex Montanaro, coming up, sir. Mate, two yesterday and a full limit today I can see of three fish. Well done, buddy. A lot better than yesterday. Yeah, look, it's, um, as I said, without that pre-fish, you know, that day one sort of can be a little bit, um, you know, where am I going to go, what am I going to do? But, um, you, mate, you figured it out. Two yesterday at 0.84. These three, however, sir, are going to bring you 1.65, mate. Well done, Alex, and uh, hopefully we can have you at a few more events as the year goes on. All right, thank thank you. you, buddy. Good on you. Ta. All right, following Alex, I believe, is Greg Stevens. Coming up, Greg. Coming up, Greg. That's it, mate. You're doing it right. We'll try and keep as much water in those tubs as we can, boys. Mate, um, how was today, mate? Yeah, good. Yep. Yeah, I had a good day, good weekend. Mate, are we going to uh, get you on your home waterway in a couple of weeks' time? In yeah, the basin? Yeah. Yeah, 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 Ripper. No, looking forward to that. Absolutely. Yeah. Mate, two fish for you today. They are 1.43 kilos. Mate, it'll be a big difference to uh, be a little bit more comfortable at home in a few weeks. It, we'll yeah, see how yeah. we go. I've got a funny feeling that Wall's even coming along. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, next up, please, Mr. Cedric Lopez. Now, Cedric, 1.72 kilos yesterday, and you were very happy to have your limit. You should be even happier to put a back-to-back -back bag together again, mate. I am, actually. Well done. A little better than yesterday. I think so. Yeah, I think so too, buddy. Let's have a look, Cedric. Yeah, well done. 1.94 kilos, mate. Big movement. Puts you up into 37th at the minute. Thank you. Well done. Have a great weekend. Oh, sorry, say drive home, I should say. All right, Mr. Kane, Terry, please. Kano, uh, three yesterday for 2.18, and another three today. Right here, bud. How are you, man? Hot. Yeah, and bothered. Melting out. <laughs> Mate, um, this place is either one extreme or the other, I reckon. All right, Kane, Terry, 2.18 yesterday. Arguably very similar. Maybe a little under. Too neat. Mates, uh, inside the 15 in 14th at the minute. Nice. Good on you, Kano. Well done, buddy. All right, following on from Kane is Mr. Simon Morley, also known as Robin. <laughs> Definitely Robin this weekend, bud. After yesterday, yes. <laughs> Definitely after yesterday. I thought we might have almost managed to stitch Tony up and, you know, 
Oh, we did a good job, I reckon. <laughs> he was pretty wounded this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Told you these things have got nothing to do with fishing. Radio yeah, so I'm 158 yesterday. A marked improvement today, my friend. 2 to 7. Big go. shift, mate. It has you up inside 30 at 26. Okay. All right. Thank you. AOY points, mate. No. AOY points. All right, Jaden Diehood, please, sir. Mate, 2 to 7 yesterday. Unsure. Simo? Uh, close. It yep. would have been better, but I had one cark it about half an hour before coming in and yeah. managed to pick up a third straight out the front it's, um, with minutes to go. You've got to keep going, don't you? Yeah. You can't stop. Jaden, those three for you, sir, are 2.22. Very consistent, mate. We actually now have you inside the 10. You are currently in eighth place. Awesome. Thank well you. Well done, buddy. Great work. So many anglers still in the line to weigh in. Joel Keane as Mustard Crosby. Hi, Chris. Now, hey, Joel. Good buddy, old friend, old pal. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm a bit tired today. <laughs> Why is that, Joel? Oh, I might have had a late night. Another one? That was your fault, though. Again. 192 yes, uh, yesterday. An improvement here, sir, I'm sure of. That's what we know of you. Much 252. Better. You literally just said that you went from 90th to 9th. Wow. All right, buddy. Go and get some photos of Brad. Uh, let's sir. see where we're going to land. What well am mate? Good work. All right. Paul Hardiman, please. Come on up, Paul. 1.85 kilos yesterday, Paul. Do we have an improvement or... No, he says. I don't think so. It's a shake of the head? <sighs> no, mate. Um, look, I hope you've had a great weekend with us, buddy. We oh, always love fish. seeing you at the events. Um, full limits each day for you, Paul. 1.37 kilos, my friend. Oh, well, better than a donut. <laughs> mate, so Thanks. much better than a donut. Thanks. Good on you, mate. Look forward to seeing you at plenty more events through the year. All right, following on from Paul is Mr. David Ayton. Now, Dave, uh, one nine yesterday. What are you calling? One seven, one eight today? No. Not, not even? Um, considering taking up singing. Well, there you go. There's a few of us <laughs> that have actually had a, um, a couple of auditions this week. Well, it might, might be the go, because I'm no good at the fishing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. Three yesterday, one nine oh. Three today at one two nine. <laughs> Hey, Tom, again, I hope you had a great weekend and uh, look forward to sharing some more time with you across the year. Thank you. Good See you in Tassie. Day. Will do, mate. Absolutely. Cannot wait to get to Tassie. All right, Gary Hansen, coming up, buddy. Mate, 217 yesterday, a very, very handy bag. What did today have to tell us out there on the water? About the same shit. <laughs> That's you a delight. <laughs> Radio guys. Let's see. Can we get you over two or are we going to be at one nine? We're going to be at one nine. We're going to be at one nine two. Thanks, mate. All right, buddy. Great weekend. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Radio, who have we next? Mr. Jason Richards. Come on up, bud. Mate, three yesterday at 2.32 kilos. And we just about did an awfully good job of giving another angler your uh, their weight earlier. Uh oh. No, you guys are so, there's a Josh Richards and a Jason Richards. Which one was bigger? I don't know, we're about to find out. Oh. <laughs> Mate, um, three yesterday was a great result there for 232. The three today will give you 173. Mate, in 20th currently in a field of 123, mate. That is Perfect. a great result. Very happy. Good on you. Thanks, Cheers. mate. Radio, following on from Jason is Pete Davidson. Coming up, buddy. Mate, uh, you had two yesterday with us for 150. Three today? Yeah, but it's probably the same weight. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> but, um, uh, I think we've, we've seen it year in, year out. It's just fishing, right? There are all sorts yeah. of different sizes. Mate, um, I think you might have it. I'm hopeful that you do. <laughs> 147 for the three. Mate, um, again, hope you had a great weekend. See you again shortly. Good on you, bud. All right, Mr. Jake Moyes. Come on up, buddy. Yep. Radio Bud, three yesterday at 167, two today. I had three, but the third one rolled over. So I have to Mate, it's, um, as I said, you know, we do our best, we really, really do, yeah, and I know right. that every single angler takes so much care. 
um, but it is potentially part of the process at times. 1.19, buddy. Thanks, mate. Again, hope you've had a great weekend. Yeah, that was good. Hope to see you on the basin. Yeah. Yep. For sure, he says. Radio, Mr. Nick Jackson. Coming up, bud. 1.4 kilos is where we landed yesterday, mate. A little better? A little better. Yeah, good on you, mate. Happy with that one. Um, just worked something out from yesterday, said, all right, I'm going to go and do this instead. Yeah, moved around more. Yep. Yep. No, no. that's good, mate. Nice work, bud. Those three, sir, for you are an improvement for 1.63 kilos. Oh. All right, buddy, go and get those photos. Thanks. Good on you, Nick. Great to have you with us, bud. All right, following on is... Coming up, Ryan. Mr. Ryan Honeybrook. Mate, 157 yesterday. Did we uh, fix that up? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's good mate. Better nice stay. work. As I was just saying there to Nick, you know, you do get to learn something every time you go out. And yes. uh, certainly without that pre-fish, it does make the, uh, the results sort of kilt a little bit. All right, 190, that's better. Perfect. Mate, 51st at the minute. Thank Good you. on you, Ryan. Thanks, Cheers. bud. All right, following on from Ryan is Dylan Pace. Yep. Mate, 226 yesterday would have seen you locked up probably inside the top 30. Oh, uh, something like Somewhere that. Somewhere there, it mate. Was like nineteenth or something. Okay, nineteenth. Yeah. Yep. Mate, there were so many anglers there from like two two to two six. It was just a yeah, busy, busy lot part. of similar size fish. This is good. Much better. Good on you. Two two six yesterday for Dylan. Today we have two four six. Mate, Beautiful. sixth place. Nice. <laughs> big points. Big points. Big points. <laughs> yes. You know we want them to get to that all-important Australian Championships this year, which will in fact be on the mid-north coast of New South Wales at Camden Haven. Alan, how are you, sir? All right. Another warm one out there, buddy. Yeah, nice, yeah. Another good day. Mate, um, 2.08 yesterday and probably very similar today. I reckon maybe just over, but yep. yeah, not much different. No, no, no. Consistency. Let's have a look. You are correct, sir. 217. I might chuck one on the scales if we Mate, can. you are chasing down 1.28 kilos. You are welcome to have a look. Curiosity when we, uh, you know, sort of get out there and we do find some nice fish. It's just nice to sort of understand what they are overall. Yeah, just weight. get a guide. You good, Daz? Yep. I thought he might have gone the kilo. Yeah, I thought short. he was too. Yep. 960 grams, mate. 40 grams in it. Not much at all. I can probably grab him out for you. Pop him up there. Good on you. Thank you. Got you, mate. Good on you, Al. Cheers, buddy. Rightio. Following on from Alan, we have Joe coming up. Now, three yesterday at 153. Now, when we caught up with you uh, out the front there today... Was it a story of some flathead, there was Taylor, there were all sorts going on, but the size of the brim weren't quite there. I got smoked by something, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> Let's just call it a brim. I think it was a brim, I don't know. Probably one of those dirty salmon that come in from out the front. All right, Joe, 153 yesterday, today we have 142. Mate, I hope you've had a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you at many, many more. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Ta. All right, following on, I believe, which side of the tub? There we go. Coming up, John. We'll get Daz on there. Now, um, your first event with us, John? Yeah. Yep. Mate, um, how did that sunburn pull up after yesterday? Yeah, not too bad. Put the yeah. jeans on the day. It was good. <laughs> Mate, you really do need to cover up out there. 172 was yesterday. I've got a funny feeling we're not far off that again. <laughs> 175, mate. Mate, well done. Great to have you with us, and uh, mate, look forward to seeing you at plenty more events. Thanks for your help. Good on you, buddy. Anytime. Rightio. Ruth Beebe. Coming up, Ruth. Oh. Yeah, mate, you took, a, took on a different job here yesterday. We had you, uh, had you on the pencil, we had you scribing. Yeah, it was all right. It was good. It's a, it's a kind of a different perspective on it all, isn't it? Yeah. I've done it before, but yeah. Yeah. It was good yesterday. Mate, Except uh, there were so many of us. I know. <laughs> 213 yesterday. I'm likely to suggest that you've got a little more here. I hope so, yeah. Let's go, Ruth. Currently in 93rd, and that's about to change. Oh. You're 208. It was awfully okay. similar. You're yes. inside the 20. Beautiful. You are currently in 17th place. Fantastic. Good on you, mate. I'm happy that. Nice Thank work. You. Good on you. All right, following on from Ruth, Mr. Paul Maloff. 
Radio Bud, three yesterday at 2103 again today, sir. Wait, Chris. What can you tell us about the water out there? Oh, I can tell you I uh, better stop leaving these runs <laughs> to get back in so late. It's a um, time management on the kayak <laughs> side of things versus boating yeah, and the like. You know, it, it is just so, so different. Yep. Um, it's just another facet that we have to consider. <laughs> um, mate, 210 yesterday, I've got a funny feeling that you're awfully close, if not a little bit better. Actually, a lot better. Jeepers, I'm getting bad at this. <laughs> 255, that's a great number next to your name there, mate. Inside the 10, you are in 8th at the minute. Thank you, sir. Good on you, bud. Thank you. Now, you'll be doing some adjustments uh, post haste there, Daz? Yep, right here. All right, Ben, come on up, my friend. So it's uh, very, very handy yesterday, just over the 2 kilo mark at 2.08. Three again today, bud. Yep. Nice work. And maybe a little lighter? Yeah, I think yep. a little lighter. Not by much, but. Yeah. All right, let's see what we've got for you, buddy. Yeah, not by much at all, yeah. mate. 202. <laughs> uh, nice result overall at the moment. You are in 21st place. Thanks. Good on you, buddy. Radio, Mr. Corey Lean. Now, Corey, um, great to see you with that full limit next to your name, my friend. I know that uh, the time, energy and effort and probably personal expectation more so than anything um, that comes into fishing for you, mate. I hope you had a great weekend. I know that uh, this is only the second time. Yeah, second time for black brim, so yep. it's a bit of a learning curve for me. It's a massive learning curve. The yellows and the blacks, as much as we're brim fishing... Yeah, they're, they're different beasts, aren't So they? different, right? Yep. So different. 126 yesterday, Corey. Today's weight is... Very handy, mate. Nice work at 194. Big shift in the places. Mate, um, hope to see you at as many events as you can get to, buddy. We really appreciate you being here. Thanks, Chris. Good on you. Thanks, Corey. Right, following on is Greg Crebett. <laughs> but uh, just over the 2, 208 yesterday. How did today go, bud? Yeah, oh, not too bad. Late bite. Awfully similar pretty overall. Close, pretty close to yep. yeah. All right. Three and three is what you need, and you have it. Better result, mate. Nice yep. work. 2.25 kilos. That's a handy place there, mate, in the big field of 123. You are currently in 14. Thank you. Well done, bud. See you next time. Will do. Look forward to it. You know we do. Rightio, come on up, Mr. Brian Lean. Now, Brian, very handy yesterday at 181. Anything that sort of changed out there for you today, buddy? Yeah, a little bit better today, I think. Got a lot more fish. That's yeah, you, you had to cycle through some more? Yeah, Similar yeah. location or just a difference yeah, to the bike? same location, just yep. changed lures and yep. learned a bit from yesterday. Mate, great result. Let's First see time I've had bag both days so Mate, good heavy. work 2.13 well done 30 thank second you. at the minute in a field of 123 mate is nothing to sneeze happy at. as thank you good on you brian thank you so much all right we have next mr josh commons now josh um you've entered as one of the first time competitors mate and it really is a great avenue into the events um i really do sir hope that you've had a cracking weekend it's been absolutely amazing that's awesome it's been mate. spot on too i was a little bit worried about pre-fishing yep uh, it was a little bit windy <laughs> mate if we could dial in days like this for every event i tell you what we'd uh, probably take other jobs as well because if uh, <laughs> if we can dial in the weather mate we can probably get anything done Three for you today, Josh. These three, sir, are 1.33 kilos. Mate, hope to see you at a handful more events. We'd love to have you along. Thank you very much. Good on you, buddy. Have Thank you. Much. All right, following on from Josh is Mr. Raymond Cooper. Hey. Tell you what, you are too kind to these other competitors, mate. Sorry? You're too kind to these other competitors. Yeah, I'll <laughs> just give them a head slap. That's I all know, for us this season. You're too, too yeah. kind. Ray, one today? Yeah, one. Pretty tough today. A lot of under, undersized ones. Yeah, okay, today. mate. I got that one about 8 o'clock and that was it. It's, uh, it makes for a bloody long day when you get them that early. 500 grams on the knocker, mate. He's Thanks all yours. Much. Thanks, Cheers. Ray. Bye. Always great to see you, buddy. All right. Hey, buddy. Bowen Joyner. Buddy, 258 yesterday. But your name actually came up in conversation today, would you believe? Oh, God. No, no, no. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I was just chatting to Mark up at the tackle store. Ah. And he's like, keep an eye on this bloke, won't you? And I said, mate, we are keeping an eye on him. So, um, mate, great to have you here for your first kayak event. I genuinely hope to see you at a few more. Ah, uh, we'll see. Yeah, right. We'll make it happen, won't we, Benny? 
All right, 179, Bowen. Well done, mate. Not a bad result there so far. You are in 12th out of 123. Daddy, Good on you, buddy. Nice work. All right, Mr. Ben Hanskin. Come on up, bud. Mate, 2.32 kilos yesterday. What did today tell you from yesterday, mate? Um, nothing. Really. No, no real change? No, no, I moved around a bit today. Yep. Did a bit of exploring, but um, yep. just the same calibre of fish, slightly yep. smaller. Just all over the lake. You sort of, yeah. Radio, mate. 232 yesterday. You're up over the two with 226. Mate, good move there. It puts you inside the 10. You're in ninth at the minute. For now. All right, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Great to have you. Radio, that line looks more like the size that we like to see. We're getting through this, but Mr. Richard Patterson still with 5.87 kilos is your leader. 5.51 for Jason Marshall. And Tony Petty, sir, you are still holding on to third place at 4.86 kilos. Adam Layla, you are next, sir. All right, buddy. One, four, three yesterday. I'd say an improvement today. Yeah, slight improvement, I think. Yep. Yeah, yep. Uh, nice work, bud. Um, did you change anything much about your day? Not really. I just no. found it fish days the other day. Yep. Yeah. It's funny. Hey, some people, you know, can have the ups, can have the downs. It's a, it's a challenging sport. All right. One five eight is certainly an improvement from yesterday, mate. Again, hope you've had a great weekend. Cheers, mate. We'll see you a few more. Good on you, Adam. Thanks, buddy. Radio all the way from Tasmania is Stacey Alexander. You know, uh, 149 yesterday, Stace, and are we going to kind of say a similar, similar bag? I'm hoping maybe a little bit more. Hoping a little bit more. We all do hope <laughs> for that little the bit. Same, though. No, I think, I think you might be right. I think you're a little bit more there. Um, <laughs> now, uh, one of the boys was telling me that we might actually be able to get you to drum up a little bit more for us, maybe down in Tassie. Yeah. Anything that we can do to help down there to get a few more guys and girls on the water, you just let us know. Yep, no we'd, lo we'd love to have the team along. All right, Stace, 149 yesterday. It is certainly an improvement with 168 today. <laughs> Mates, um, again, thank you so much for such a big effort. Uh, and we look forward to sharing that water down there with you in March. All right, following on from Stace is, of course, Michael Alexander. Come on up, sir. 201 yesterday. And just at a punt from a distance, a similar bag today, maybe? No, not quite, he says. No, a bit less. Okay. <clears throat> not quite as much condition. Name. Similar length overall? Sort uh, of. The only one good fish again. Yeah, yep. that's real, so. Yeah, right here, bud. 201 yesterday. 188 today. Mate, again, really looking forward to sharing some water down there with you in Tassie. It's uh, one that I just can't believe we're going to get to, and I am going to fish that one. Good. All right, mate, I'll be there with you. Hopefully you might be able to give me a couple of hot tips. Simon Maguire, come on through, my friend. Mate, uh, with 158 yesterday, and it, when it says 4.3 kilos to take the lead, you better have some I got it, I got it, I got it, got it covered. Yeah. <laughs> About the same? Yeah. 158. Yeah. Well, when, a bit less, no, I don't know. I think you're almost spot on. Oh, very close, mate. 152. Again, mate, I really do hope you've had a killer weekend. Mate, well, always have a good time, mate. I'll see you again soon. Good on your time. Thanks, buddy. All right, next up is Mr. Sean Hill. Warm one, Hilly. Yeah. A very warm one. Mate, 2.28 kilos yesterday. Did we do similar business? Uh, maybe yeah. a touch better, maybe. Mate, there won't be much in it, but um, any time you can sort of turn up and get that sort of four, four and a half kilo mark, mate, you're, uh, you're definitely in the money. Mate, an improvement, you are right, 2.47. That's nice. a pretty handy number. That has some dollars and cents behind it, it's got some prizes behind it, and more importantly, it's got some AOY points with it. I was going to stay there. That's <laughs> well, I don't know, I don't know, you, you might have seen what's coming, mate, I've got no idea. <laughs> right, Ellie, great result, mate. In fifth place in a field of 123 is an absolutely cracking result so far. Matty P. Buddy, 162 yesterday and an improvement, sir? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. A little bit. Right, um, do anything different? I actually threw the lay-down minnows. It's the first time I've actually thrown that They're thing. They're a lot. Yeah. Absolutely love them. No, it was really good. I reckon 50 fish today. Yeah. Hey, yeah, bit, bit, you know, from this to, you know. <laughs> I think we saw one angler there today literally holding a brim that was about that big. Yeah. Still chasing lures. Yep. All right, Matty, 162 yesterday, sir. 
199 for you today, buddy. Nice work overall, mate. And um, again, hope to see you when you're around. Thank you, mate. And safe travels if you do happen to make your way out west again. We're going about a month. In about a month. He's locked in. All right, Matty, well done overall. Next up, who have we? <laughs> Come on up, Michael. 172, my friend, yesterday. Yes, struggled today. Or two. Two. Two's better than one. Done one. Just exploring pretty much today. Have you been no. around, Ben? No. First time I've ever been here, Mate, you'll be back. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, awesome. Right, um, three yesterday at 172, two today at 1.05 kilos. Excellent. Mate, so again, if you get to come back, I'm sure that we will be here. We will be. It'd be great to have you here. For sure. Good on you, Michael. Thank you, bud. All right, following on is representing St Croix Rods, the round sponsor here this weekend, Mr Corey Gallagher. What do you know, Corey? A little bit more than yesterday. Yeah. A couple of bigger ones, but no, it's still, on you, bud. nothing um, huge. Mud, swan. Yeah, mud as always. Yep. Just a top, bite, top water bite. All so day. much fun, right? Yeah. Well, that's, I just said to myself, I'm out of contention, so I'm just going to enjoy the day. Mate, you have um, you certainly seem to have done that, my friend. 171 yesterday, an improvement today at 2.03 kilos. Well done, Corey. Thanks, mate. Good on you, mud. Thank you. All right. Following on from Corey, we have BP himself. Coming up, Brendo. Mate, uh, 2.11 kilos yesterday. Quite a handy result. Yeah, didn't back it up. No. I told you it was pre fish. <laughs> oh, we've had this conversation way too many times. <laughs> Mate, as I said, 2.11 yesterday. Maybe in the sevens. Nearly there. 166, mate. So, um, Thanks, mate. Again, hope you had a killer weekend, buddy. Love having you here. Good. Thanks, mate. Good on you. Thank you. All right, uh, maybe inside the last 10 or so anglers, still trying to chase down Richard Patterson at 5.87 kilos. Mitch McMaster, come on up, sir. It's a little bit of a different day than yesterday. An absolute pearler of a day. Had a blast. And similar, maybe a little better? Way better. Way better, he says. Mate, I've, been, I've probably weighed in over 200 bags this weekend. Yeah. And I'm starting to get out of sorts. But now that I'm with it, are we two six? I'm hoping it's bigger than that. All right. I hope for you too, buddy. You need three six. You've got two eight five. Wonderful. That's a pretty specky number next to your name right now. Very Can we that. keep you in third place? Look at everything, I think so. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, so great result, Mitch. Well done, buddy. All right, we are still chasing down Pato. Nick Mace, can you put a dent in this top three? Not a chance. Not a chance, not a chance he a says, chance. as he makes his way up. I got three, but not a chance. He'll no. Sorry about that. No, 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 you're all good. Still a bit wet, they are. Mate, um, these shoes, unfortunately, are just full of brim water. Yeah. All right, 229 yesterday. Today, one nines. Two, two kilo. Mate, very, very handy still, mate. 20th place out of a field of 123. Awesome. Thanks, Nothing Chris. Nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for the drive as well. Thanks mate, for always happy to help. You know we will. Um, we know how much every single angler invests to be here, both time, money, time away from family. Um, anything that we can do to improve your day or make the day just a good one, we are here to help. Ted Richmond, buddy. Come on up, sir. Now, Ted, was it third overnight? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He had 275. What have you done today, buddy? Uh, same as yesterday, but... Just the calibre of fish not quite there. Yep. 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 Mate, um, still, I've got a funny feeling this is going to change the results overall for you from where it currently says in 95th, with so many other anglers having weighed in. 168, massive improvement, mate. You're in 15th overall, but um, in a field of 123, mate, well done. Chris, thanks, mate. Good on you, bud. Nice work. All right. With but a handful of anglers to come, Richard Patterson still leads the way, ladies and gentlemen. What can Pat Byrne do to shake up our top anglers? I don't think that much. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot, he that says. Was a very good day. Gotcha. Today. Yeah, you really enjoyed it? Yeah, a little lot. But how's the outback? Ah, very smooth. Nice. Now I've got the complete fleet. <laughs> there you go. AI, TI, outback, yep. mate. Forever, yep. Oh, Jeepers. Mate, you keep doing that because it uh, keeps us in business. 
1.8 neat, mate. Much, much better result than yesterday. Yes. Again, hope you had a great weekend. Hopefully we get to see you at the Basin. I will see you. Much Basin. closer to home. Yes. <laughs> uh, Pat, nice work. Now, following on Pat is Mr. Greg Lewis. Buddy, 2-4-3 yesterday. Yep. Sorry, which actually reverted to 2-3-8, three, three, eight, but we're not going to yeah. talk too much about that. No. <laughs> um, 3 5 oh, to shake up Rich. No. Nah. But this is certainly going to change our top ten. Is it going to change our top five? Mm, don't think so. Let's have a look, mate. Nice work, Greg. Almost identical to yesterday. Yeah. Two, three, six. Sixth place, mate, in a field of 123. Mate, you are back. Still got it. You are back. All right. Cheers. Well done, buddy. Hi, kids. <laughs> mate, some um, great, great work, Greg. Now, Greg is still, I believe, the only angler in our history of events to take six wins in one season. Very, very handy angler. Come on up, Chris. Chris Byrne is our next angler to weigh in. Buddy, uh, 215 yesterday. Did you manage to um, learn a bit more out of yesterday and make an improvement? Yeah. Went yeah. straight there and caught the side fish. Yeah. Just bang, bang, bang. It was all day long. It was amazing. <laughs> and hundreds of them just everywhere. It was incredible. Would you have cycled through 50 fish? Oh, yeah. And some? No, about that. Yeah. I wouldn't go. Not over the top. Not like bassin at night, but it was Mate, <laughs> this is a lovely bag. It's 373 is a big number that we need to chase down, Rich. It's not going to be there, but this is a really, really respectable bag, mate. Nice work. 2.53 kilos, just outside the 10. You're in 11th, mate. Oh, well. Nice work. Nice work. Well done. All right. We have two to go, I believe. Will Richard Patterson hang on to the lead? Lee Kirshner, come on up, please, sir. Now, mate, um, you guys from South Australia just continue to astound us with the uh, time, effort, energy and investment you make in uh, being a part of this series. I can't thank you enough, mate. I hope you've had a good weekend. Oh, absolutely. Every, uh, every Hobie Comp is well worth the trip. Mate, so we really appreciate that. Thank you, bud. So 1-7 yesterday. This is certainly an improvement. 2-0-4, mate. Well, well done. Right, bud, safe travels on your way home. Yeah, thank you. See you again soon. Radio right may be our final angler to weigh in. Come on up. Come on, Nath. Now, uh, buddy, you were the recipient of a little bit of surgery earlier. Yes. <laughs> Is that the, uh, certainly couldn't have been the first hook in the finger. No, nah, first. First one? Yeah, first. I've been pretty lucky. Well, there you go, mate. Um, 168 yesterday. Mm, roughly the same. Similar? Maybe a bit lighter. Maybe a bit under. Let's have a look, bud. One five. One Just. six two. Yeah. Awfully similar, mate. That has you in 82nd overall, mate. I really hope you've had a great weekend with us. And That's we good. look forward yeah, to seeing you at some more events. Thank you. Good on you, bud. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will need to take a short pause. We're just going to get some numbers together and uh, get a presentation underway for you in just a few moments. Before we get started on that, if uh, Ray or Deb happen to be around and or can hear us, Ray or Deb from the Ben River Hotel, um, if they are not, ah, oh, there you go, awesome. Um, give us a few minutes, you can chill if you need, but I uh, just wanted to make sure you're here, mate. Awesome. Um, it's here somewhere. Um, oh, I should, I'll sit it down there. Um, I might work with Brad or you to try and find where those drives are.
should have been bloody sloppy up here. <laughs> test, test, test. All right. Okay. Now I'll get you over that way if you don't mind. Is that all good? All right. So you might even get to have a few words here in a minute. Yeah, behave yourself. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Daz, I think we are good to go, yes? Yep. All right. Um, as we did say, this is uh, certainly the opening round of our Series 15 season as part of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series. Um, it's been great to bring on that sponsorship and that relationship with the team at St Croix Rods, and we're very, very much looking forward to uh, growing that with the team as the years go on. This location here at Bem River, I think as I've said in the intro now on uh, the last two days, really would be, would have to be regarded by far as the single best brim fishery down the east coast of Australia. I know that it um, absolutely is a favourite for us here at Hobie Fishing um, and as much as there is the fishing, it honestly is the community that makes all the difference here in particular for us at Bem. Um, and, and obviously a massive part of that community is the team over at the Bem River Hotel. Um, Deb, obviously there's change of foot. Yes. And Wednesday? Yes, um, I'll drop and run Ray. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be backwards and forwards, but um, we're sort of backwards and forwards till after Easter and then we're, then we're off, do the yep. south coast and Western Australia and have a bit of retirement while we can. Mate, um, I really know that it is going to be one of the most well-deserved changes. Yep. Um, I think for the service that you've had and businesses and the like, sort of in this neck of the woods in particular. I mean, you've been Mallacoota, Marlow and Bem. Yes. And I guess effectively publicans across the last 25 years. Yep, yep. It's been a lot. I'd like to know how many beers I've poured in that time. You said it over <laughs> here the other night. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, for those of you that are here, it's just a, a massive, massive, massive part of our story yep. um, is Bem River. You guys have been a massive part of that story with us. Um, I hope you take some fond memories with you. Um, and we very much look forward to bringing back that... Uh, photograph that we took this morning. Yep. Uh, we'll have that framed and done and blown Fantastic. up and I hope that it has a pride of place over there in the hotel for, for plenty more yeah. years to come. And I'd just like to thank the Hobie team, you Chris and the Hobies so the, over the years that you've had. You've been bloody excellent and you've become really good friends and um, new and old. And um, with that we're going to miss you all but I'm sure we'll be back and see you in our travels. Thank you so much. It's Mate. been a pleasure. Good on you, ladies and gentlemen. Bev, sorry, Deb and Ray at the Ben River Hotel. Safe, safe travels. We will. Rightio, mates. Um, what I'm going to get you to do is give me a hand with the uh, presentation here. So uh, as part of the program of events for us, we not only have our open division, but then there's a series of other divisions between first-timer youth, masters, uh, and the ladies division. Yep. Uh, and this weekend, as part of our ladies division, we had uh, three anglers there that I can see up on the screen. From Victoria, with 4.21 kilos, is none other than Ruth Beatty. Come on up, Ruth. Hey! <laughs> All right, so that is going to be Ruth's prize pack. Yeah. If you don't mind passing that over. Congratulations, Thank you very Ruth. Much. Great. And Beautiful. what I am going to do, excuse me for having my back to everybody. Ruth, from the team at St Croix Rods, I kid you not, that is a brand new St Croix no, Rod. I was eyeing that off. All right, mate. There you go. Congratulations, mate. Might have a few words from Ruth. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> so how was your weekend overall, mate? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yep. I had a great time. Caught fish early. Today was probably better than yesterday. Caught yep. them bang, 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 bagged out by about 20 to 8. Jeez. And upgraded. Travelled around up the front into Mud Lake. Upgraded twice there. Oh, good for you. But just didn't get another big one. Yep. <laughs> so well, it mate, made all the difference. You had the results in the ladies division. Yeah, I'm not too happy. sure exactly where we landed I, you I don't overall. Know, either four we'll, something. We'll take a look at that. Four something. But yeah. there are some really, really handy yeah. AOY points in that, mate. Absolutely. We hope to see you at plenty more rounds. Thank you so you much and congratulations for this you weekend. Will. Thank you very much and all the best to you too on your travels. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for all your service. It's been great. <laughs> we'll miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Ruth. Well done ladies and gentlemen. Our what, ladies winner. Come on forward Ruth. Yeah, come, on, come on up Deb. Yep. Jump on in. I can see that with the rod. 
<laughs> Never seen that. I'm so excited to get a rope. Oh, <laughs> Good on you, Ruth. Thank well you done. So much. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, also, we have a youth division. This uh, weekend was contested between Tyler and Noah, and it is Tyler, in fact, that takes out our youth division. Coming up, buddy. Uh, that will be that one then. Tyler, um, now it looked like you were uh, spending the weekend with uh, sort of Bowen and Benny. Congratulations, Tyler. Well done, mate. Did you travel up with the boys? Yeah, come up with Ben. Yep. So whereabouts are you with around Eden Way with the guys? Yeah, I'm Bega. Bega, rightio. Mate, um, I hope you've had a great weekend here. Anything else that you want to share with us over the weekend? Any other sponsors or anyone that looks after you? Nah. Nah, self-funded, well done. He's a man of many words, ladies and gentlemen. I keep trying to get him out of here, but he just keeps blocking us. Mate, um, look, your angling skills are definitely there. I look forward to seeing you as the years go on. Um, mate, great result overall again. Well done. Thank you. All right, good on you, Tyler. Thanks, buddy. We'll come over and grab a quick photo. Jump on in, Deb. Well done, mate. Thank you. Nice work. All right, Deb, back to you there. So we've done ladies, we've done youth, and um, now this weekend our Masters, of, Masters division was a hotly contested uh, challenge here between 19 anglers in fact out of our 123 fought through this division uh, and it is my absolute pleasure to tell you that it was Mr David Shanahan who took out the Masters division this weekend. Well done. Well nice week, done. Dave. Oh, boss boy. Well done. <laughs> you can't hide anywhere, can you, Dave? <laughs> but, um, I really do hope you had a cracking weekend. I know that um, certainly that first day for you, mate, was um, seemed like it was just a whole stack of fun down there. Congratulations, Thanks, Dave. You. <laughs> you too. There you go. Um, what can you tell us about the weekend, bud? Yeah, I had a good time. I was fishing at the front. All Pretty much um, all the fish come from the front yep. um, yesterday morning. And this morning, there's a lot, it's a different fishery this morning. There's birds working, a yep. lot of bait fish today. It's just, there's not much action at all. Yeah, right. So, so you only got the four fish and that was it. Yep, yeah. didn't make a change. You just stayed up there and grounded out. Um, I come back in the lake probably about 11 o'clock. Yeah, okay. It just shut down up there, so, yep. but didn't do any good. Well, so mate, look, great good. result. Yep. It's uh, 19 masters, can you believe yeah, it? Yeah, it's becoming like the. the Original Hobie comes The full series where yeah, we started. Just about there, 30 so. or 40 people. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Well, mate, I hope you had a great weekend. We love having you with us. Well done, Dave Shanahan, Thanks. our Masters Division winner. Thanks, Chris. Good on you, buddy. Thanks again. Uh, before you run off, quick photo. Come on over this way, bud. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Well done. Well done. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, All right. We don't want to wreck that one. Somebody really might want that first place trophy. All right, we'll sit that down there. Ah, Daz, what have we got? We finally, outside of our open division, which we will just about get to, we do also recognise our first-time competitors. And uh, Josh Commons, mate, if you happen to be here, buddy, um, we do have a prize pack for you as the winner of our first-time division. He may be getting organised over there, so we'll just sit this one off to the side and uh, we'll make sure that we get that through to Josh in the coming days. Uh, that one there I will hang on to separately. That one will go with the rest of them. All right, we are about to get into our top 10. Now, with 123 anglers on the water, this is by far no mean feat. From Victoria, with a total combined weight of 4.68 kilos, the 10th place goes to Brad Clark. Come on up, mate. It's all in there. But it's um, 10th. Congratulations, Brad. Thank you very much. Oh, well, what have we dropped? Oh, you're sunny. There we go. Thank you. Mate, nice work, buddy. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Mate, um, you get to Bem a bit or not? Nah, well, once a year, maybe twice if I'm lucky. Yeah, yeah okay. But I do fish it okay. Yeah. Mate, um, what was going on out there over the weekend? I mean, you've really got to work hard to be consistent in yeah. this mass of people. Yeah, it's hard. There's a lot of people out there, but I. Come to Bem, I usually fish deeper yep. than most people. A lot of people fish shallow. I sort of fish that 1.8 to 2.2 yep. sort of metre yep. with the plastics and things like that. So yep. that's what I did, that's what I usually do. So I 
<laughs> do what it. works. Don't yeah. reinvent the wheel. No. Nah. Um, do what you're good at. Really, really handy AOY points there, buddy. Yeah. And I know that you shared some time with us at the Australian Championships yeah. last year. It'll be great to have you at the I AC this year. Yeah. Camden Haven is the location, so up on the mid north coast of New South Wales. Never been So rather than black rim, it'll be yellows. Um, so, yep. mate, look, let's see how the season. So here we go, mate. Out. Beautiful. Well done. Congratulations. Right, Chris. Good work. Good stuff. Thanks, bud. Before you run off, I'm going to grab a quick photo. Sorry for stuff. There you go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Our 10th place is Brad Clark. Radio also from Victoria with 4.72 kilos overall is Dylan Pace. Coming up, Dill. Mate, um, a very, very consistent angler overall, sir, you are. Congratulations, Dylan. There you go. Buddy, um, how did the weekend pan out overall? Uh, I don't know, classic Ben. Lots and lots of little fish just had to play the numbers game and yep. get through all the little ones. Cast upon ones. cast upon cast. Yeah, lots Were you sort of finding that you had to change up a lure style to sort of get rid of those smaller fish? Absolutely. I ended yep. up going to like really big bent minnows for a lot of it, like the yep. 110s and 130s and there. Yeah, right. Oh, big jerk baits, and then sort of today was sort of opposite day. Like again, a lot in the big jerks, but smaller plastics as well, and yeah, sort of go. switch baiting fish too. That follow up a bent, rip that in, cast something behind, and get yep. the bite that way. Yep. Change it up, change yeah. it up, change it up. Yeah. Well, mate, look, ninth in the field of 123, no mean feat. You've got a big year ahead as well. Of course, a lot going on. Um, it will be great to see you over in Canada. Yes. Um, so some more details undoubtedly to follow on that. Um, you know whose hands you're in, and I hope that there's some information forthcoming very, <laughs> very we're soon. We're all waiting there. Uh, we are, so we are. Mate, our ninth place getter, Dylan Pace. Cheers, Chris. Good on you, bud. Congratulations. Thanks. Well done. Quick photo, bud. Easy. Nice work, too. Well done, mate. Radio getting up the numbers and into a little bit more money, but 10 grams separated, 8th and 9th. It is my absolute pleasure to request Mr. Dennis Villamore. Coming up, Dennis. It's, uh, I dare say, probably the last time that we were fortunate enough to have you on stage. Could very well have been at the Nico. Nico yeah. yeah, Nico. Um, I think your day there, that particular event, well done, mate. Um, I think you moved like 30 metres off the start line on the second day and smacked three kilos of fish, no more than a cast away from where we started. Yeah, I was just right around. Bem didn't quite do that for you this weekend, but you really had to sort of grind through the fish to make today work? Yeah, I was just looking for fish and just, you know, if I find one and see it on the screen and just cast to it. And yep, so did you have either like an active target? Active target. Active target? Yes. Yeah, and you just used that to your advantage all day yes, to find those individual day. fish? Yes. yes. So it's, uh, Technology has come a long way, yeah, we don't, um, yeah. and it's, it's definitely allowable in our field, and I'm glad that you've uh, had such a great result, mate. I hope you Thank had a great you. weekend. Thank you. Good on you, Dennis. Congratulations, mate. Cheers. Good on you, buddy. Bye, right, quick photo. Eighth place for Dennis Fillimore. Good on you, mate. Thank well you. done. Rightio, moving up into seventh now. The first in the top ten of our New South Welshman and only a 20 gram differential from Dennis is Mr. Sean Hill. Coming up, Hilly. It's, uh, yeah, 472, 473 and then 475. Not a lot separating you guys. Well done, Hilly. Thank you. Good work, mate. Grab that. Thanks, Deb. Okay. Mate, um, you two are actually off to Canada later this year. Yep. Um, a lot to look forward to there. Um, obviously, it's hard in Australia. You can't really prep for you know a trip like that. Hopefully, this weekend's just been a, a killer weekend of fun on the water. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, first, first two good days I've ever put together at Ben. Really. <laughs> yeah, so. It can be a little bit heartbreaking at times. I mean, everybody expects people to catch hundreds of fish here at Ben because it is such a good fishery. Yeah. Um, I know that I've been here and donated on one of the days, and then you know you get two and a half kilos the next day. I've doubled here before. Well, mate, um, let's say uh, a feed all on its own. <laughs> well, mate, Hilly, I hope you've had a cracking weekend. Um, anybody that's looking after you, anybody that you want to thank, the bosses at home. Yeah, just thanks to the boss, mate. Yeah. She's the one that lets me do me things. So. Thanks, Kylie. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, Hilly. Congratulations again, thanks, mate. Well mate. done. Thank Quick you. photo, buddy. Before you run off, jump in.
All right, Sean Hill, mate. Well done. All right, Deb. All right, moving up into sixth place. As we did say, no stranger to the stage and in our history, the only ever angler to take out six events in the one year. May I please have Mr. Greg Lewis. <laughs> Come on up, buddy. Cheeky features. Oh, yeah, just ask him. <laughs> <laughs> How good are you, he says. Oh, modest as well. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> buddy, buddy, buddy. Now, you were talking actually about a um, what happens in the event of a tie. Yes. Well, I think you and Hilly actually tied it up and it sorted itself out and you got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Mate, yeah. um, it is just great to have like excited, passionate people at these events. I know when we sort of got you back onto an event here at BEM last year, yeah. it kind of obviously ignited a bit of a fire in you again, mate, and um, it was really apt to put you on a red outback <laughs> so that you cannot hide. Yeah, I cannot hide, yeah. I'm doing um, a pretty good job, but... <laughs> mate, I didn't actually see you today, strangely, but, yeah. um, mate, how was the weekend overall? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, yeah, I had a plan before I came here yep. and where I was going to go, what I was going to use, and I just stuck to it. Yep. And um, yeah, it, it worked out good. I had a heartbreak yesterday, lost an absolute monster, monster brim yesterday that, that would have had me up there. But um, yeah, that, that's that's just fishing. Sure so I, I was I was r real happy with how, how I went today So and, and yesterday. In so. such a massive field yeah. of 123 English, mate. <laughs> no, it's not like the old days. It was easy in the old days. There's like 30 <laughs> or 50 people. Now there's yeah. like double and well, everyone's red hot as well. Yep. There's some re really good uh, anglers out there now. Right, so. 100% well, there is, mate. Yeah. Um, looked after by the team at Miller Rods. Yeah, yeah, cheers, Ian. And yep. um, yeah, yeah, and th thank you as well for no, mate, it's e our everything you've done for me as well. Yep. So, yeah. Mate, we'll continue to do it as best we can. Love it. Well done, Greg. Thanks, mate. Great work, champion. Cheers. Great work. All right, come on in for a pick. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, GL. Cheers, thanks, nice mate. work, buddy. See ya. My kids again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In your top five with 4.81 kilos, not only fifth overall, but our Masters winner, Mr. David Shanahan. <laughs> Coming up, Dave. All right. Now I'll start to grab those out and make sure I get those in the photo. All right. Cheers again. Well done, buddy. <laughs> hey. Another one. What is it? The old boss boy? Yes, the old boss boy. boy. <laughs> uh, well, look, we've, we've found out kind of most of what's going on, mate, but um, look, you've always been a high caliber angler. You've always been at the sort of pointy end of the field. Mate, but 123 anglers. Yeah, it's getting crazy. You used to come here thinking if you make the top 10, it's good. Now you come thinking, oh, top 20 would be a great result. Yep. So it's getting harder and harder to, to be in the certainly in the top five is fantastic yeah. yeah well mate look you've got a, a great pack there from all of the sponsors as part of the series there's some great information in the uh, kit there from the team at St Croix I'm sure you'll yeah. sort of take a good look through that Beautiful. there's a couple of bucks that you get to take home with you as yeah. well mate hope Excellent. to see you at a few more events um, mate stay safe stay well thanks Chris thanks Hobie uh, thanks Ellen for coaching <laughs> did even listen to that. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks for coach, will you? Won't yeah, you? Like you're trying to give the recognition yeah. and they don't even listen. It's hopeless. Oh, <laughs> good on you, mate. <laughs> right, stay there. We'll get you another, another pick with you. Hold up that. Uh, well done, Dave Shanahan. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Nice work. All right, we are now up to our fourth place getter. And I would almost bet, ladies and gentlemen, at the start of the day, he did not feel like he was going to be up here on stage taking this. But from Victoria, may we please have Mr. Tony Petty. Total weight there, Tones, of 4.86 kilos. <laughs> Oh, there are so many side bets. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, you got uh, a little bit of money to take with you there, mate. A cracking sponsors pack. Um, buddy, what can you tell us about this Batman and Robin thing that's going on? Uh, it's just a little, um, I suppose, in-house joke with the Hurricane team <clears throat> between uh, myself and Simon Morley, whoever finishes highest at each comp. Yep. Uh, gets to be Batman, and the loser's Robin. Right. And what's Simon this weekend? Gets to be Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, um, what was working out there for you today? I mean, look, I, I caught you out sort of maybe in that kind of 1.4, 1.5 metre mark. It seems to be a, a location that we see you in fairly consistently. What's changed from last year to this year? Um, not a lot, really. Yep. Uh, I just think a little bit more 
consistent this year. Yep. But um, the Hurricane Blade, Vibe 37, yep. uh, Camo Crab, Nitro Axe yep. in the deep worked pretty well. And um, the Sprat 75 and, uh, and a new one worked pretty well in the shallows. And a new one. And a new one. And that's all we're going to say. Exactly. Radio. <laughs> Should we leave it at that? You can leave it at that. Rightio. Um, Tone, hopefully we'll get to see you at a bunch more events through the year. Are you about to do back-to-back -back with ABT? No. No, not this time around? Um, you've got so much work to do, a busy schedule, you can't uh, be everywhere busy, all the time. Well, we've got, um, we've got St George's Basin coming up, we've got we Tassie coming up. We do. Nelson, Canada. There's so much lot. going on. <laughs> Mate, great work, big year ahead. Hopefully we can continue to see you on stage. Hope so. Well done, Tone. Cheers, nice you. work, buddy. Thank you. Right, quick pick. Quick pick. Batman as well. <laughs> well done, Tony Petty. Great work, Tones. All right, now we are really about to get into the serious money and also the coveted prizes that come along with these. You got that, Deb? Yep. We'll see if we can rip that out. I'll give you that one. Now, so many Victorians in our top ten and in third place with the first of our anglers to exceed the five kilo mark, 5.13 kilos, Mitch McMaster. Come on up, sir. <laughs> Now, Mitch, uh, without stealing too much of your thunder, what I should also have said with Tony, he is the first of the anglers that is actually going to pre-qualify for our Australian Championships. And it is also my pleasure to tell you that you have also pre-qualified for our Australian Championships. Woo. Well done, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. Now, uh, mate, I think we might have caught you up the front end of the system on day one. Is that correct? Yep. Um, always the plan? Always the plan. Yep. Um, you've been here plenty of times over the years? Like four or five times. Okay. What was it that made you know that you had to be at the front to get a result like this? I just thought, like, incoming tide, my strength's a crankbait for yellowfin and black rim, so I was like, I'll go run, run, like, roll the dice on that, and then yep. it, that paid off for a good fish down there, and then move, moved up and moved to Swan on the second day, well, on the f oh, after that, so. Yeah, rightio. So a big shift. So you're in Swan predominantly today? Uh, in the river. Ah, in the river. There you go. You, yesterday you said don't change what I did, and I completely changed it. So <laughs> I won't listen to you next time. Mate, most people don't listen to me. I'm glad you didn't. I um, hope you had a great weekend with us, mate. Some money in your pocket, a great uh, trophy there for you, and a cracking sponsors pack for you as well, sir. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, your third place getter here at Pent River, Mitch McMaster. Coming in the middle, bud. Well done, champion. Oh, do I need that one? Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Sam. Well done. Great result. All right. The money continues, the prizes continue, and more importantly, the Australian Championship placements continue. From New South Wales, with the first angler exceeding the 5.5 kilo mark at 5.51 kilos, is Jason Marshall. Coming up, big Jace. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Thank you. Take some of those, soft dab. That one. And then see if you can hang on to one of those as well. Oh, I can hang on to hey, one of those. Isn't that nice? <laughs> buddy, um, you absolutely rocked this fleet here yesterday with that bag at 3.34 kilos. You've come off the back of a bunch of other events, like in multiple species. Was it five out of seven events that you've taken out? Uh, yeah, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. pretty close. You've lost count, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And we've uh, got another one next weekend. So. There you go. Um, busy, busy boy. Yeah. Um, mate, look, I just keep saying it, but 123 anglers. Like, does that kind of change your headspace coming into an event, or are you just kind of like, rock it, I'm doing my own thing, I'm cool? Yeah, just make a plan, stick yep. to it. I nearly ventured off today with a couple of other boys, like John and that, up to Swan Lake, and probably got 100 metres up in there, and I just went, this is not what I had planned. Yep. So I turned around and come back out, and... Yep. That's which awesome. would have been roughly where we found you, yeah, yeah, yeah. for that chat. Yeah. And I think you, you were talking one thing, which is, I guess, more, of, as you said, like a, a freshwater-style 
yeah. of sort of attitude about points. Yeah. And literally, no, as you said on the chat, no sooner had you come out, you went bang, bang on each of the sides. Each side, yeah, two fish. Brings a degree of confidence. You go about building your bag, and yeah. uh, the rest is history. Yeah. Well, mate, Sam, I really do hope that you put that brand new St. Croix rod to really, really good use. Oh, really? I'm sure it'll fit into the stable quite well. Yeah. Um, you also, sir, have taken out one of the AC guaranteed places. That's that's Pretty good. bloody handy. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, mate, we do hope to see you at a bunch of events. Um, keep doing what you're doing, mate. You're a lovely guy, and we love having you at the events. Well done, mate. Nah, thank you. All right, good on you, Jason Marshall. Well done, mate. Massive. Come on in for a photo. Thanks, Tim. All right, see if we can get you to grab that one out as well. Can you hold all of that in there? Look at you go. Man of many talents. <laughs> Well done, Jace. Nice work, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Jace Marshall, please. Right, T.O. Now, I am very, very, very pleased to announce that your Round 1 Series 15 winner of Bem River is Mr. Richard Patterson. Yeah. Come on up, Pato. Oh, buddy. How good's this? Well done, mate. Thanks. <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. Let's, um, I probably don't, I, look, I don't know where to start with you, mate. Though we've certainly known each other over the last few years. Um, obviously, a few things have changed for you in the, the move into the team at Daiwa. Um, everything just kind of seems to be clicking for you, mate. You seem really happy. Um, and you've got to be happier now. Definitely happy. <laughs> it's a great weekend. It's really good. Um, can you tell the guys and girls at home, I mean, what, what kind of built this weekend for you? And then what is it that you think that might have sort of tipped you over the edge to take the win? Well, we, uh, I mean, we managed to get out for a little pre-fish at Swan, four-wheel drove in and just chuck some lures around in there. Yep. And um, I'll just throw on some jerk baits and they were eating it in there. Yep. Um, so I just figured, well, I'll just do that here. Yep. Um, and then day one was just a DC double clutch 75 in the shallow. Yep. And all my fish came on that all day. I didn't change it. And that was at the front of the system? That was just near mud, yep, like okay. just out the front there. Yep. And yep. then I went out the front and got the big one out the front. Yep. And then came back to mud and then came literally just out the front here and put an upgrade in maybe last 20 minutes and lost a couple. So I was like, well, I'll just start there in the morning. Yep. And I think that's where we came across you for the chat. And I think you might have mentioned too that the, maybe the lure that you know had sort of got you the fish, you didn't have that colour again. Yeah. So today I threw the shallow in the morning and got one straight up and dropped it. Yep. And then I moved out to like 1.5 metres and threw the um, the double clutch just in the standard. Yep. Uh, and then I lost that one. And then I didn't have another. I didn't have an, another. Same colour in the, yeah. in the DC, so I just went to a chrome belly and then that sort of was doing, doing well as well, so it's good. Well, mate, we look forward to hearing a little bit more about that when we get you lined up with Deethy for the Brim Fishing Project. And uh, I think everybody would be really keen to learn, you know, a whole lot more that goes on. And I know you'll have absolutely no issue in sharing it. Um, Pato, I'm so stoked for you, mate. There's some serious bucks there, man. Um, a cracking trophy, a massive prize pack. Congratulations, mate. You are also into our Australian Championships. Thanks a lot. Well done. Right, ladies and gentlemen, your round one winner, Mr. Richard Patterson. Well done, champion. Nice Cheers. work. Rightio, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, actually, Pato, oh, hang on a minute. Sorry. Big brim. You got that as well. You've just taken it all. Um, well done, Pato. Great work. All right, see you soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude our presentation and the event here at Bem River. Again, can't thank Deb and the team over at the pub enough. Mate, safe travels, enjoy yourselves, uh, and hopefully Australia is as kind to you as you have been to us. All right, Deb, wonderful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, signing off from Bem River.